some schools, universities and Victoria's court system are refusing to wait for government-imposed coronavirus measures by introducing their own. Geelong Grammar will... Well, the second school in the eastern suburbs has been evacuated today after a student tested positive to coronavirus. The pupil in the primary school at Mariah College at Queen's Park went to school last... Uh, school is going to look very different in term two. Uh, if you can learn from home, you must learn from home. And we've done... It's nearly time for our graduating year to go out into the world, supported by their friends and family, so many of whom they are grateful to have in attendance on this October day. But first, custom dictates that I call on the undergraduate selected by his or her peers to deliver the valedictory address this year, that that undergraduate, punctual as ever, is Car Carissa Kirkover. Thank you, Miss Bowman, for everything. This place has taught me so much about friendship, loyalty, love, but most importantly, it's taught me that the best things in life, the very best things, happen unexpectedly. Hit it! Everybody scream when I kiss the teacher. All my friends at school They had never seen the teacher blushing Look like a fool Nearly petrified cause she was taken by surprise When I kissed the teacher Couldn't quite believe her eyes When I kissed the teacher Anderson, Australia's number one real estate agent. I'm Michelle Anderson and I approve this message. I'm really well hydrated and I eat a lot of fruit and I'm a vegetarian so I am good for the environment. <laughs> And here we have the not at all popular girls frolicking in the wild. And here we have the lone Ellen Bowman, so lonely. The group of girls all planning on paying for their ATAR, while at the side sits Phoebe, all teaching them how to get that 99. The group of sheep, 
all together, all talking about Will Pat's recent adventure with Kaisha. All, all bonding as the Stanley, confused, walks away. <laughs> the wild chants lynching onto Kale the superfood. Recognizing the simple mindedness of the superfood Kale, he throws a ball, launching him into the air. Simo attacking Joe, viciously. If we still have a pulse, rare occasion, Ellen Bowman with friends. <laughs> the more simple minded ones, preparing for a selfie even though it's a video. So simple. <laughs> the beating heart of the year level, the center of everything. The sassiest duo, Mac and Keeley, with the mortified Chelsea in the background. <laughs> And Maddie. <laughs> the shy antelope slowly creeps away, however sensing the mass beauty of the beating stallion gets in close, not realizing that he is the prey. <laughs> A familiar occasion this time, the Jack and his two brain cells searching for the t-shirt he so dearly wears. And the Maisie attacking him like a tiger. <laughs> I don't want to say tiger, that's not yeah. The fleeting Roth Berryman chasing the Collingwood team. So desperate to get them. To, yeah. Oscar Honeyman and Zach, I mean Will McGlone. No idea how they got into the school. They're doing nothing. Just staff members. Shay Oliver, on the ATAR calculator for the 550,000th time, determined to find the end result of her entire life. Joyce clearly allowing Neve to get ducks, not studying in the slightest. Hey guys, it's James Joblin here. I just wanted to come on and say congratulations on finishing year 12. It is a huge achievement. I didn't even finish year 10. I uh, got out of there while I could. Have the best night ever. Congratulations on finishing. I don't know how you did it. Are the teachers nice? Y'all teachers, but I bet you they ain't. Anyway, have the best night. I didn't even... Oh, I got my nails done. Shit, I don't know what to say. Uh, oh, can I swear? I didn't really swear, miss. Mrs. and Mr. Teachers. Hello, I'm Peter Hitchener from Nine News, and it's a big shout out to everyone at St. Joseph's College of Tuca, especially the Year 12s. What a year it's been, but you've handled it brilliantly with remote education, with virtual assemblies, with staying in touch with one another and staying in touch with the school. Best wishes for the examinations and all the best for what's next. Cheers. Hello everyone from St. Joseph's College in Achuka. I've been in Achuka once um, at a nice resort. It was really nice over there. But anyways, I'm Sophia. Sophia, the dice girl. <laughs> um, TikTok girl, whatever you want to call me. Um, and I'm here to wish you guys a really good luck in 2020. I really hope you guys focus on your studies and take this time to put in all your effort. If you try your best, the best is what matters. We're all in the same boat here. I'm in year 12. I understand how stressing it is this year with everything going on. But however, the class of 2020, we are the sub survivors and we can tell our kids about this year. At the end of the day, some you win, some you don't. So I'm glad that I'm here with some friends that I know. Always there with a smile, saying you're not alone. Singing la 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 la, Kesara.
Why should people prioritise science subjects at school? That's a great question, Chase. To start with, science is fascinating. It's really, really interesting. I've never met a kid that doesn't go, oh, when you light their hands on fire or when you mix chemicals. Um, and science doesn't just involve chemistry, biology, physics, it involves maths, it involves information technology and all those kind of things. So I think it's really, really fascinating and anyone that takes time to looking into science will find it fascinating. And if they don't... 2,000 years later. Don't, they must be a really boring person. Uh, why should people prioritise literature studies at school? Because it makes them more humane. It makes people better human beings. Not better at any particular job or any particular function but better at the primordial job of being a person. That is to say, it, it contributes to the flourishing of the human person. And, I would bring it back to what I said earlier, it doesn't teach anyone to kill anyone else, or to destroy the environment. Hi, God here. 2020 has been a rather trying year for all, and I think one of the most devastating impacts, especially for me, is the hit on reality TV. I've dearly missed keeping up with the year 12-ians, so I've sent some Islanders out into the wild to scratch together some soap opera for me, as it is essential to my existence. Singing right. Don't put that in myself, note for self. Yes, it's definitely put. Don't put that in. Do you have any um, advice for future Year 12 students? Um, probably if you're not in a global pandemic, maybe just shut up. Lucky. Mm -hmm. How much would I have to pay you to cut your hair off? Honestly, probably like. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd say about $200. Like. <laughs> oh. No, no. Anyone got two hundred dollars? Gotta go on your pay. Um, tell us about your political campaign last year. Oh, obviously you put a lot of money into that. You spent over hundred dollars on shirts, so for it not to get up was pretty disappointing. But you know, well, everyone makes mistakes. I think Bunga's already realised that he's made a mistake, considering we're on the bottom of the ladder this year. So. Uh, Bunga, how come more house are on the bottom of the ladder again? Uh, it's a really simple answer. Because we are the strongest, we like carrying everyone else on our shoulders. There's, there's, that's just the simple <laughs> answer to it. Do you think you might have anything to do with not electing Danners as your house captain? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's got absolutely nothing to do with that. When you prepare a speech like he did, he's not worthy of anything. <laughs> okay, Harry, um, you did start a YouTube career a few years ago. Um, can you run us through again what it's like to be cool and how you achieve that? Um, so it started in year five. Um, and I just thought kids just wanted content and so I thought I would supply it so I had my Minecraft and I had um, just you know easy tutorials on how to be cool and how do you be cool uh, well if you go to Harry Ward 13 <laughs> on YouTube you will find out how to be cool and hello it's Harry Ward here this is three steps to being cool number one get a pair of beats by Dr. Dre rule number two Get an iPod by Apple. See, look at this. Look at this. I'm just going to take off my Smiggle to cover. Oh, go, go to Smiggle also. Smiggle's pretty the bomb. Shh. Amazing, eh? Here we go, guys. We're here to um, potential duck prospects right here. Um, not sure who it will. It's Joyce. It's going to be Joyce. So, Neve, nee, got a quick question. What is the wackiest way someone has pronounced your name? Um, Noma. <laughs> <laughs> and Joyce, if we give you the opportunity to give a teacher a shout out, who would it be and why? Um, just a quick shout out to Lynn Hammonds for being my rock. Really, truly. <laughs> Love you, Hammo. Is it true that you rear-ended a caravan on the bridge and wrote your car off? No comment. 
<laughs> that was a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, is it true that you're the face of the Arbra? Yeah, it is. Can you rate the comfort of the Arbra out of 10? Probably like a 6.9. Ooh, nice. <laughs> and do you have an affiliation code for the Arbra? Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you, Alana? <allow? laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you playing Bungie? Can you look fine and beautiful? Why are you uncomfortable? When you can say, ah. Oh. Okay, Emmy, who was your year 7 crush? Um, that guy's Harry Ward. Um, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Zach, what happens in the last episode of Game of Thrones? Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, Harry spoiled it for me. Yeah, shame. Yeah. Still friends? Yeah. Yeah, after a while. Mm. How long? Oh, about eight months, I think. What's <laughs> your <laughs> thoughts on world peace? I hate conflict. Like, you, know, you hate conflict? Yeah, it's gotta be all rainbows for me. It's all yeah. about the rainbows, guys. Spread happiness. Um, Alana Catlow here. Uh, cats or dogs? Dogs. Hmm, that's controversial. So, Rose, um, have you won Mario Kart against Sam yet? Um, no, but I'm really working on it. I put in like a lot of hours um, just what every is the, night. What's the key to success with Mario Kart? Like, what character should you play? Um, I definitely recommend Yoshi. He's having to be done every week to make sure it's all blotched up, making sure there's no blotchy spots, making sure my hands aren't dark from the rest of my body, pop them over the hill. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But no, I love being a female. I love it. It's fun. It is good. It is good. Um, so why weren't you in the middle of the chemistry photo? I wanted to be in the middle of the chemistry photo because ever since I was like a child, I remember I've always been in the center photos because I've always been in you know, photos surrounded by people who don't look the same as me and if you want it to look symmetrical, you might as well put the black girl in the centre, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds logical, yeah. <laughs> you with Jackie, um, what's your favourite sport? Oh, uh, definitely be tennis, like I, I love tennis. You do? Um, who's your favourite tennis player? Uh, it would have to be Joe Varney, I think. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, I've been playing yeah. the sport like for a few years now, like Actually, he was the tennis ball, but yeah, it was, that's what I was <laughs> Abby Callender at one end, me at the other end, and you know, back and forth. Back and forth with Joey? Yeah, recently retired from the sport, but for the other player, the ball's in your court. <laughs> so we're here with one of the school's um, most professional tennis players. Um, tennis player? Just, how do you feel about that title? Yeah. I don't know, is that a good thing? Yeah, I it, think. it is a good thing. Um, Abby or Jackie, oh. final question. Neither. Or both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're here with Dee Ram. Um, he's quite the celebrity at the school. Um, oh, not really. So, I just have a question for you. Um, who was your crush in Timor? Oh, God. <laughs> you stitched me up, didn't you? Uh, baby dog. Lucky girl. Um, would you like serenading her with a little song? <coughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wallace, on average, how many buckets did you get out a day? None. None! No, they changed uh, the leather shoe policy, so I don't have to make anyone wear leather shoes now. Oh my god. <laughs> we have been ripped off. None. <laughs> okay, we're here with the school's hottest ranger. So, um, why are you the hottest ranger? Obviously because my hair is fire. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're here with uh, Dory. So, just got a quick question for you. What's your favourite Disney movie? Fighting Nemo. And did you take any inspirational quotes from that movie while you watched it? It skips swimming, it skips swimming. Quick question, is Canada in the United States? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you mean Canada? Yeah, Canadian. <laughs> Absolutely not, it's its own country. What's 10 divided by 2? Point 0.4? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, on a good side. Who's your least favourite English student in your class? 
audience. They'll know what this means. The Tender Boys. The Tender Boys. The tender Boys. Uh oh. This is for girls. Oh, yeah. Ready and on. Oh, <laughs> so who's the hottest year 12 girl? Tegan Marty. Oh, can I For both of you? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, two votes for Tegan. Wait. Starting with Jenny Boy. Yeah. Who's the best looking for this whole thing now, right? Oh, I'd say Lana Park. Yeah. Lana Park. Older group. Hey, oh. three votes. Three votes. Who's the hottest year 12 girl? Oh, this is oh. Wondering who the hottest U12 girl is. Oh, look, I'm not really into the girls. I'm really into Morpha. Oh. He's a really good looking lady. Okay, who do you reckon the hottest U12 girl is? Joel's yeah, sister. Definitely JP's sister. Video, who do you reckon the hottest U12 girl is? <laughs> Baby dog. Baby dog, it is shit. Who do you reckon the hottest U12 girl is? Um, it's gotta be Joel. Yeah. Who do you reckon the hottest U12 girl is? Oh, it's gotta be Jackie. Yeah! In the U12 female, do you know who you got? Oh, fucking Marty. Marty? Yeah, Marty. Well. I'm back in you, Brooksy. Are you not, not bad looking? Oh, I'm amazed the female. Alright, I'll nice. take it. Thank you either one. Um, who's the hottest U12 girl? Can't take it. 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 can Who's the hottest U12 boy? Oh. Fraser. Fraser Brooks. Who's the best looking U12 male? Um, Tom Moss. Who's the hottest U12 boys? Um, Tom Watson. Oh. Um, Joe Garnick. Who's the hottest U12 boys? Uh, Joey. Joey! Joe Garnick! You have to say Joe. Yeah, he actually Joe. does have to say Joe. Say Tom Wolf. Tom Watson. Tom Wolf. 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 Tom Tom Wolf. Tom Tom Wolf. Tom 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 Watson. 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 Tom
When all our shadows disappeared The animals inside came out to play Went face to face with all our fears Learned our lessons through the tears Made memories we knew would never fade One day my father, he told me Son, don't let it slip away He took me in his arms, I heard him say When you get older, your wild heart will live for younger days Think of me if ever you're afraid He said one day Shining stars He said go venture far beyond the shores Don't forsake this life of yours I'll guide you home no matter where you are One day my father He told me son don't let it slip away When I was just a kid I heard him say When you get older you wild heart will live for younger days Think of me if ever you're afraid He said one day